The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. My name is Kayla Tingley. I am a sociology major. I'm a junior from Towson, Maryland, and I am the president of Catholic University's Black Student Alliance. I knew I wanted to go to college in the city. I was introduced to HBCUs in high school, and I applied to a couple. I really wanted to go to Howard, but I did not get in. When I toured Catholic, I really loved it. I loved the campus. Everyone who I met was nice. I knew it was going to be a PWI, but I ended up choosing here. I've always attended PWIs, but I always had a very diverse group of friends. And the PWIs weren't this white. So before I considered coming to Catholic, I researched the fact that there had to be a black organization of some sort, whether it be a union or an alliance. I was a part of my black student union in high school. I was a president my senior year. and. I knew there had to be something. Then when I committed, like a week later, the Black at CUA page came out. The Instagram page is essentially a open space for people to share their experiences of discrimination on our campus. And obviously with the height of 2020 and race relations in America, it, it was rough. I was going through that along with other members of my community and the rest of the country. And to see that my university had this page dedicated to hearing stories of these like people experiencing such awful things said to them or done to them, I was scared shitless, quite frankly. I ended up talking to Zaria, talking to Makaya, talking to Kelly, and was able to talk to them about what the, that meant. And I knew that if they were fine, I was gonna be fine. I think it's really important to um, just the landscape of higher education for students to be able to express themselves and to connect with each other through the things that they enjoy or the things that they want to learn about. So why wouldn't culture be on that list of things? A lot of the things that Catholic University or the Catholic Church has said um, that they are universal, um, a place of belonging, a community. At Catholic University it's really important to have cultural organizations because that shows that we are universal. Cultural organizations or affinity groups on any campus provide students with a space and a place where they can immediately connect with um, other students who are like them, uh, who have similar experiences, and so that they can find that sense of support, that sense of community, that sense of belonging that is so important for any individual. The important thing is that they all uh, provide that space for students to connect with one another and from there, connect to the wider campus community. As a black person, you're always being looked at and you're always being judged. And so like when you have those experiences, like it gets hard and it's like, who can you relate to when there's like a million white people and there's just one of you. At like Catholic, it's like a PWI, but it's like once you hit the real world, that's also a PWI. It's like, is this what my life is gonna be like forever? And I, I guess it is. It has been difficult because I've never been in an environment where I'm not confident that everybody there is rooting for me and believes in me and believes in my capabilities and wants me to succeed. I've had to like find people that I know are for me and are supporting me and believe that I have the same capabilities as like my white peers. So that's been an adjustment. Well, I came early to campus um, with Take Flight, but I went to the fall festival later. And that's when I ran to Micaiah. 
And Makai was like, oh, hello. And I was like, I don't know who this is, but they're talking to me. And I was like, did I meet them during like pre-orientation or orientation? So you know, now she was like, hey, how are you? You know, there's Kelly and Deshaun and all these people who I came to find out that they're part of BSA. So my first time engaging with BSA was in the Priz when I was basically accosted by Makaya Brown uh, in, the, in the Priz on the bottom floor. And she was like, why aren't you in the BSA? Because it was probably after football season. Zaria Jackson, at the time of me being a senior in high school, was the vice president of BSA. And she's like, I heard that you're coming down for Odyssey Day. I think you should come like stay with me and hang out with me. And that's what I did. Um, so my first BSA event, I was not a student at Catholic. It was a room full of like students who looked like me um, after I had been walking around like Catholic all day. It felt very comforting to me um, as a visitor, um, seeing people and hearing from people who like affirmed who I was before they even knew me. Walking through this campus as a black student is, is, is weird. It's correcting professors to not say the N word. It's microaggressions about hair and whether you know people at Howard or whether you're going to Howard this weekend or me walking in freshman year to LC's with my box braids and my professor being like, Kayla, you changed your hair. And so I think it's really hard because the only outlets that we have are BSA or the CCE. And that's the one time that the weight is lifted a little bit. When it comes to Soul Food Dinner Gospel Mass, it's really something that shows off black culture, as well as integrating it with Catholic faith and culture and religion, as well as welcoming everybody into it. It's like a really big full circle kind of community thing. I think the uh, Soul Food and Gospel Mass is very important, uh, particularly because the event is hosted during Black Catholic History Month. November is a very special month for us in the church in the United States where we recognize and um, really raise awareness about the presence of Black Catholics, the long history of Black Catholics within the church. The importance of having this event, um, it's not just about an event or an activity that a few students gather, but really is an opportunity for the entire church to rejoice. I went on a immersion trip to Montgomery, Alabama, and they are, Father Mangle is the pastor at Resurrection Catholic Missions, and um, Mr. Cliff is their pianist. So I went on that immersion trip, and then when I, Tyreek and I decided to do summer of service, so that means we spent eight weeks in um, Montgomery doing different things, kind of just randomly folding bulletins, doing um, grocery runs for people who are housebound, things like that. And so when we were there over the summer, we offered them to come and do Soul Food Dinner Gospel Mass with us because Soul Food Dinner Gospel Mass was something that happened for BSA annually pre-COVID. And so I've never attended one. I've never um, kind of done this before in a way. So it was a little weird to try to plan but it also um, was really kind of helpful because we could do whatever we wanted with it. We could make it our own because no one's ever seen one on this campus. Um, so yeah, when we offered, they graciously said yes. I think that our university is lacking, obviously we're lacking diversity, but there are very different aspects of what that looks like. And I want, students to be able to experience a gospel mass. I'm obviously not Catholic, but I was able to enjoy gospel masses because they're accepting and joyful. So I think our students could use a little joy right about now. And so when I am troubled, I'm not distressed. When I am perplexed, I'm not in despair. Because I'm a vessel 
and so are you, with a treasure that none can compare. Persecuted you may be, but you're never forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed, because you're a vessel full of power with a treasure from the Lord. I am troubled, yet not distressed. Her BSA is not only open to the black community, but also to those of other races and colors. So I myself am a Hispanic Latina, and BSA has always known that, and I've been able to grow within the e-board and also get to know all the other black students around the school. And it's important to note that BSA is open to everyone. It doesn't matter whether you are black or not, and they'll still embrace you and love you like the family that they are. does VSA mean to me? Um, not to sound typical, but it is very much a family. It's just an, a time and a place where I can be myself. VSA, I would say, is like a family, like it's home. VSA, to me, just serves as a safe place uh, for students. VSA, to me, is a family. Like a safe space for marginalized groups. VSA means family, VSA means community, VSA means um, justice. To me, BSA is my home on this campus. People often talk about the pockets of where they've found people and who they are, and that's what BSA is for me. It means there is somewhere that I can stand in my truth on this campus. Wow.